Aries, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading going from the 19th of December through to Christmas Day on the 25th of December. We're going to be going through the solstice as well. We're changing from Sagittarius to Capricorn. And we're going to be taking the first gentle steps into the autumn of Aquarius, uh, of uh, uh, Aries, of your good selves. Um, as you can see before us, this is the Astro Flower. We have an energy line that runs through here. Uh, run straight through this table. Uh, it's a beautiful energy iron. Let's just connect with it. And we're, what we'll do is we'll just open that portal to the astro flower and allow that and that energy to sort of flow through. So we get the astro flower of Aries. There you go. Excellent. Welcome to the astro flower uh, for this week reading here. Just off the, straight off the bat. Um. I think this week is really suited to you, uh, Aries. I think you're going to really, it's, it's, it's like having your cake and eating it and still and turning around and having your cake there still. Let's just see what the overall energy is for you. You've been working hard on all fronts and it's not just on physical uh, on jobs and businesses and that sort of thing. It's also been working hard on relationships, working hard on, you know, in the context of your family, your friends, community, that sort of thing. Uh, and it's, you can feel that Christmas vibe coming on. You can feel those beautiful evenings, um, enjoying company and doing things. Yeah, you're nurturing. You're nurturing that idea. It's nurturing the, the idea of family, uh, friends, and community. Uh, I also think it's like you put in a lot of hard grafting for the, um, for your business or for your job and stuff like that. And now it's a case of you've almost got to allow it to grow without you doing too much. You've just got to nurture it. Do a bit of weeding here. Just looking after it uh, more than anything else. Let's just see what's going on on the um, on your karmic path of uh, karmic message on your relationship side. It's stature. I think it's you're going to really feel at home with not only with who you are, but with who you're with. Yeah, lovers. It's you're going to love life. I think this is the week to really realise how much you love life, uh, how much you love people, how much you love your, your job, how much you just love life. It's just a really nice uh, vibrant energy. Let's just see how the universe or the divine plan is trying to influence this sort of karmic message. They're bringing in a lot of passion. Then live it. It's like they're sort of saying... Well, you're falling in love. Well, let the fires stoke your um, stoke your happiness. Uh, yeah, you've got the you've got the death and rebirth card there as well. So this is a new journey, and this is uh, this is a the beginning of a new cycle, basically, the ending of one side and the beginning of another. You know, um, and you've got the nine of pentacles. You're you're on you're you're having the best week you're having the best reading by the looks of it out of everybody this week it's quite amazing uh let's just see how the guides anyway the the universe here is the divine plan is is kind of going well now you're going to fall in love with it let's do something about it let's do let's do something and that's what the universe is encouraging within you um let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message Out with the old and in with the new. They're getting ready for your autumn. <laughs> we're in autumn where you look back over the last year, you look at what you've done and you can decide what was a success, what wasn't a success, what you want to continue doing, what you don't want to continue doing. And they're sort of doing that. They're helping you do that by um, coincidences around you, which may be sort of like curtailing some aspects of life and other aspects of life is going to take off. Uh, but that's what's it's all tied into that new cycle page of wands yeah they're trying to encourage that that fire that passion which is the universe was talking about there as well and being passionate about it uh passionate about the journey uh it could be passionate about a lover that you've met 
uh, that could be that card there because obviously everybody's leading reading different lives you know and uh, it depends on the situation you're in this is only a general reading so if you want personal readings uh, you'll find a link in the description below um, but um, yeah the you know you guys are trying to encourage that um, passionate side of you that almost that have that youthful buoyancy around you um, let's just see uh, what's going on with the conversation uh, with your guides and this is the conversation that is within you they just keep repeating fun 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 laugh 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 let's have some fun 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 I think this as I say I think this week is built for you you yeah, have page of cups you got a page of wands page of cups lovers death and rebirth this is all about new stuff this is all about um you know realizing that you can get ultimate dreams out of life you can you know miracles do happen and uh life is a miracle within itself and falling in love uh with another person is a miracle uh it's it's all part of that magical show that we call life and I think you're really gonna, you're really gonna realise it this this uh, this week. You're really gonna realise that whole sort of uh, magical aspect about living life, um, and yeah, and I would live it fully if I was you, uh, if I was you, Aries. Let's just see what's going on in your financial sort of front, and this is where I think the nurturing or allowing it to grow sort of works. Let's just see what the karmic message is here. They're repeating this in a way, sort of allow those seeds to grow. Learn to trust in the process. Learn to, I think you do trust in the process, but allowing the time for things to actually, for the wheels of life to to turn as it were yeah they're going to ask you to I, I think there's a major step up for you in 2023 uh i think we saw that in your 2023 reading actually uh which is on our channel so you can be able to do that it will be linked at the end of this reading anyway uh but it's worthwhile having a look on that and also the collective because that's quite a mad one for the financial sort of world but this is you're moving from one thing into another <laughs> it could have something to do with marriage because uh, you've got the lover's card here as well or some sort of commitment um, to something. Um, but whatever it is, it's moving from one um, thing to another. It's it's going from one uh, level to another level. And I think it's moving up for you. Let's just see how the universe is, um, how the universe is influencing this karmic message, the divine plan, as it were. Respect is returned by respect. So you will receive respect from other people, but, and you're very good at this, Aries. This is, this is, plays right into your strength of respecting other people. You're very, very good at that. Um, you know, ace of, ace of pentacles. It's a real, you're in a real role. You're doing really well here. Uh, this this period here is is open to realizations and uh, so solid. There's a lot of confidence building in you as you move from one stage to another. Even within the business side, I think if you allow this time to happen, you're going to realize that you've got a lot of seeds like Jack and the Beanstalk. You know. Uh, it, you've got these seeds that are going to lead you to uh, uh, definitely a, a, a new a new echelon in your in your career path or in your business or in your job let's just see how the guys are trying to influence this karmic message There is a certain stature around things. So you're now, it's the quality of coincidences that are coming into your life that are going to help you and guide you to uh, along the path uh, of, of your business or your job and stuff like that. 
And you've got the King of Wands as well. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of you in all of this. Um, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, the King of Wands is the leader, basically. This is this statue that I was talking about. And you've got the Emperor behind it as well, running through it. It's a real step up for you, uh, Aries, at the moment. And I would greet it with... with um, yeah, with with honour, but also humility, uh, and 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 reverence. Really, you know, giving it a lot of respect. I think this is maybe what we're talking about the respect aspect of it all. Uh, you can respect life here, and life will respect you back. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's just see how the uh, guys are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. Once you once you arrive at a certain level, you should no longer ever have doubts within you. And because you no longer have doubts within you and you're heading down your path, um, people will, will, won't have doubts in you either. And it's like a it's like a, a exponential sort of thing that keeps just growing and growing and growing. Um, yeah, hold on. Are you holding on too tightly? I don't think you are, though. This is it. I think it's uh, more a case that you're being wise in how you spend your money or how you invest your time and effort and money in the rest of the world that is around you. Uh, that's what it seems like to me. And I think this is where your guides are giving you that sort of um, that, that air of that emperor that goes through you. Let's just see how it sort of how these sort of two paths play out together. There's a lot of happiness there and a lot of satisfaction and security and and uh, eternal well-being and, and assurance within oneself uh, in all of this. Three of Wands. People are going to be coming to you, basically, uh, Aries. People are going to be coming to you and I think as they come to you, I think there's going to be, because you're going to be a point of reference, basically. And you're going to realise that. And this could have to do with family meetings, gatherings, old friends that we meet up at Christmas and stuff like that. People are going to, you know, use you as a reference, basically, uh, by the looks of things. Let's um, just connect with this energy line that runs through us here and see if we can get a message off um, the vibrations of that energy line. Just connecting the consciousness there. There we go. That's running through beautifully. You are the golden fleece. You are the epitome of um, due diligence and sacrifice for the for the greater good or for what you're doing. And it's honourable of what you do. Um, and that honour is honoured in its turn. And the energy is almost honouring you in a way and sort of kind of, it's like the energy is sort of kind of like dipping the hat as a, out of recognition for you. So you should recognise that within yourself then. Okay? So there you go, Aries. Thank you very much for being here over this past year. It's been an amazing journey. As you can well see, we're trying to evolve this channel even further and we have new readings coming on in, in the new year. They are going to be mind-blowing. They really are. I'm going to be really looking forward to them. Um, and uh, you've got your solstice readings coming out this week, the collective on the Sunday and your readings during the week uh, be out on a Wednesday. And then you've got the monthlies the uh, for January the following week after that. Uh, loads of things going over this Christmas on this channel that you're not going to want to miss. So you want to subscribe and click that bell so you get the notifications on it. But in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.